Hey, Steven. Hi. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful, right? We're going to learn today how to set a fabulous holiday festive table without a lot of money. I'm so glad you're here. You know, we're at my favorite store, Revivals. Mm -hmm. And um, what I wanted to do, Sandy, is show you how we can go to a thrift store right. and create a really cohesive table that's reflective of your personality. Mm -hmm. In this case, my personality, right? Because I did it. <laughs> but, um, you know, we live in this desert, and what I love about the desert is that this time of year, the citrus is growing everywhere. Yes. You know, I took these lemons off my tree. Oh, perfect. And got really inspired to create a fresh tablescape mm -hmm. based on the citrus found in the desert. Love that, love that. You know, and so it was really fun because I went to a bunch of different revival stores, and where it started actually was going to the Cathedral City Revivals, ah, and I found this beautiful. great star pattern called Galaxy. Love it. It's not traditionally a holiday theme, but you know, what says holiday more than stars and gold, right? Right, perfect. And then I found this wonderful porcelain collection mm. with oranges on it at the Palm Desert Revival stores. Beautiful. And it came with these great cups, and I thought, put a lemon in them, Love and it. we can start stacking our tablescape. And I wanted to make it feel really special and use some of the vintage jewelry that I had been buying at Revivals. And so I looked for different ways to create that feeling. Um, you know, I took some of the broken brooches that I owned. I just went out and I found some very inexpensive metal napkin rings, some epoxy from a DIY store, and I took what was a broken brooch and glued it to the napkin ring, creating what I think is one of the most glamorous snowflakes you're ever gonna find anywhere on anyone's table. And you can do this too. But you know, you don't have to just do brooches. And I was telling uh, folks, if you find a bracelet that you love, it mm -hmm. can be a napkin Beautiful. ring. And the thing that we always wanna encourage folks to do is if you buy vintage jewelry, please don't break it apart. Uh, on the other side of the table, I have it pinned to a ribbon that's wrapped around the napkin, and that way you can keep that vintage jewelry all of your life. One of the things that I love to do is find antique glass candle holders. You can find them in every color and shape. They don't have to be traditional. In fact, when you find them in a bright color like this, they can look very, very modern. And of course, bringing in the translucency of glass on a table is a great way to play off the desert light in our beautiful valley. And Stephen, I love your centerpiece, but how do you create a centerpiece that doesn't really obstruct that, you know, eye view right. with your other guests at the party? Yeah, so you know, Sunnylands has, and I think you did a story about it, that wonderful uh, display about the dinner parties that Lenora Annenberg had. Yes. And she had two rules. One, always choose a round table for conversation. Nice. And two, a low scape around the table because she didn't want to obstruct any of the conversation that her mm -hmm. very important guests were having. I didn't know what to put on this table, to be honest with you, and I was walking through revivals and I couldn't find the centerpiece that I loved, but I found the round silver plate. And okay. I thought, how can I use that on the table? And then I found this crackle glass candle holder and I turned the corner and I saw this crackle glass tree. And I was oh, like, this fits like perfectly on top. It's the perfect height, everyone can perfect. see around it. We gotta talk about glassware. So glassware is really hard, right? Because we all break our glassware. Probably if you're like me, you don't have a full set of eight of anything anymore. And so the Revival's Thrift Store is a great place to fill in the gaps. These are three different collections of glassware that I found, and I've mixed them on the table to just bring in layers of color and translucency to the setting. The thing that I really love to do at a holiday table is to put a gift on each person's chair. Like and that. Revivals is a great place to buy that vintage gift, you know, just to find a really great ornament mm. that you can place on the place setting or the chair of your guests and let them know that they're welcome before they even sit down and enjoy the food. Okay, now we need to talk about beverages, right? One of the things that I got lucky this year was once I chose my citrus theme, I found this great sparkling water with a lemon already on the packaging. That's great for this table, but maybe your theme is slightly different. If you don't have the right serving container for your beverage of choice on your table, again, Revivals is a great place to buy an antique silver pitcher or a crystal pitcher and just add a little bit of additional shimmer and shine for your holiday dine. Playing in Indio, in Cathedral City, Palm Desert, and Palm Springs, 
we were able to find everything we need to create this tablescape for the holiday season. You know, Leonor Annenberg might have said serve on a round table, but she also had people serving that table. Uh, <laughs> you and I are gonna need to have everything we need for the meal close by, right? So a bar cart, Sandy, is the perfect solution. Mm -hmm. You can wheel this into your dining room, put on your extra serving pieces that you need for the meal, Love and it. then repurpose it later in the day for cocktails. Okay, one question I have for you, Stephen, uh -huh. is that, you know, if I go to a holiday party and sure. I'm asked to bring something, uh, do I really show up with this from Ralph's? I mean, it's not very pretty, it's not very festive, but I'm asked to bring something. Right, well that depends. I mean, how much do you like the person? I mean, for example, Sandy, <laughs> is the holiday party that you're invited to at your friend Donna Mills, who <laughs> I worship? I know you I do. mean, if that's the case, no to the plastic. Okay, no okay. to the plastic. I'm gonna show you a really easy <laughs> trick. Okay. Because this is what I do. And this is what I call presentation is everything. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. So all you need to do, go ahead and go to Ralph's, right? right? You don't have to spend a lot of money. They make great side salads. We're all busy. And then stop at Revivals and pick up a crystal bowl. <sighs> you know, they're sometimes like $15, $10, $20. They look terrific, right? right? Next step is really easy. Oh. Scoop and serve, oh. right? So nobody needs to know that you didn't cook. You just got your crystal bowl. You've got your beautiful side salad from Love your local that. grocery store. Hand it to your host or hostess. Give them a wink and say, here, keep the bowl. They're gonna think you're a millionaire. <laughs> if you don't wanna bring a crystal bowl, how about a silver platter? Right? Nice. And that's what, 10 or 15 or 20? This one was $15. Unbelievable. And then go to the grocery store. Again, I don't have time to cut up vegetables, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Buy your package of veggies. Right. All pre-done. Simply open them up wow. and then start building your veggie tray. You know, it's just Fabulous. about like using your uh, your personality to build the perfect veggie tray for the host or hostess that you're coming to. So all it takes is oh. a silver tray and presentation is everything. You know, Sandy, I said, if you are going to one of those famous Hollywood parties that <laughs> okay. I'm sure you're invited to, <laughs> I'm not. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna like give up one of my napkin rings <gasps> and let you zhuzh up your holiday dress. Oh, I love it. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. And I'll let you know which hostess I gift this to. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> and now for the big question, Stephen, really how much would all of this cost? Because to me, it's priceless. <laughs> yeah, you can't really put a price tag on making the people that matter most to you feel welcome at your table, right? So true. But you can if you're shopping at Revivals. And I uh, was kind of keeping track as I was pulling pieces from the different stores. And my estimate is that you can get the whole look that you see at this table for under $100. No, are you serious? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. And the Fabulous. reason is you can set your own budget, really. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't buy a new tablecloth. I had this tablecloth. Mm -hmm. I found the dishware, which was very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. You know, I found the glassware. And then when I realized I needed to fill in the gaps, and I couldn't do that at Revivals, or I was out of time, I just went to the dollar store and I nice. found these great plastic deer and these wonderful citron colored holiday trees that light up. Perfect. And I just added them to the table. So it's really, you know, how much does a table like this cost? It's up to you. You can have as much fun as you want, as much time as you have shopping the four Revival stores to get the look. And you know what I love about this beautiful tablescape, Stephen, is that it looks like you had so much fun creating it. Sandy, I had so much fun creating this table, and that's the thing. Everyone who shops at Revivals has fun because you never know what you're gonna find. It's a treasure hunt, but you're looking for bits and pieces that express your authentic personality, mm -hmm. and you know it where you see it. And that's why what we always say at Revivals is relove the pre-loved. So festive, so beautiful. Here's to a healthy new year, Sandy. Absolutely.